I'm a good citizen. Wilbur Sir Gunaraj. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. Wilbur Sir Gunaraj. Blessings, greetings, everybody. My name is Wilbur Sir Gunaraj. Right now, I am in the Scotland with a very, very esteemed guest, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Christie. Madam, hello, hello. Very good. Uh, nice welcome, to meet you. welcome to Scotland. Thank you. Very nice That's very first class. You gave me the greeting like this. It's very, very first class. Uh, ma- uh, madam, she is a doctor, doc- clinical uh, microbiologist. microbiologist. Yeah. Clinical microbiologist here in the Scotland. Today we are going to do a very, very important for the first time interviewing a doctor special episode, Super Call Solution. How to treat the common cold? Okay, so we all get common colds. It's it's common, so it is a problem. Uh, it's not the cold weather that gives you the cold. Oh, it's not no, the cold no, no, weather no. that gives you the cold. It's a virus. Virus. Do you know a virus? What is a virus? It's a microorganism. So it means it's, it's a very very small. You can't see it. They come in. Uh, they cause infections. In they can spread very very quickly oh, around. The virus. That's why lots of people have it. Antibodies. They're excellent um, medicines that we use very carefully to treat bacterial, oh, bacterial. infection. So bacteria, viruses, completely different. Bacteria and the virus is totally separate, totally different. different. Different biology altogether. Yes. So the medicines we can use to treat bacteria, they cannot do anything for the virus. Please, now you can follow me. So right now we are in the lab. This is the first class lab. Okay, so this is a microbiology laboratory. Okay. And the big job we've got to do is when we get a sample, from the patient so the patient's in so the I have a co- I have a cold and then you want to get a sample from so, me so okay if, you, if you're feeling a cold or respiratory coughing then the sample we'd want is some spit spit you yeah, need yeah. the spit, spit from yeah. okay need but I'm going to demonstrate here with sure. a swab what we would do okay. in the lab and these are the, the special um, plates that oh. we use these are actually they're called agar plates agar and we plates. have many different Luminology. kinds of agar plates agar. basically it's a kind of like jelly okay. and it gives food for okay. the bacteria so we want to make them comfortable happy and grow okay. so that we can identify what they are uh-huh. and then find out what antibiotics are going to kill them spread it your whatever sample we have we yes. would spread on this plate okay like this yes and then we would incubate it incubate Luminology. incubate yeah that means Put it in like an oven, like somewhere warm. Put it in an oven. We put them in the oven. You have to keep the bacteria happy by giving them the food. We look after them very nicely. Very, very nice. You would think that just for the common cold, even to find out there's so much science behind this, you know? So much science, yeah. And in Scotland, we're we're, we're very proud of our bacteriology in Scotland because we had people, a Scottish um, bacteriologist, uh, Fleming, Alexander Fleming. Mr. Fleming. Mr. Fleming, he discovered antibiotics. He's very famous for discovering penicillin. I have heard about this name long time ago in the school. Yeah, so early, uh, maybe over 100 years ago, Ago, he wow. discovered it has completely changed medicine and really how we can treat class. it. But Mr. there's a Penicillin. problem. Just not, not Mr. Penicillin. Mr. <laughs> uh, sorry. Mr. Mr. Uh, uh, De- what is his name? Alexander, Alexander Fleming, <laughs> yes. who discovered the penicillin. This is a problem that I want to show you. Okay. To persuade you not to use antibiotics too much. Okay. So how we discover uh, which antibiotics we can use. Okay. See these little round yes. discs, they have antibiotic okay. in them. Yeah. And you can see all around there's bacteria okay. growing. You can see. What's happening here is the bacteria is growing okay. and the antibiotic is killing. You can see it's not growing around the disc here. Oh, I see. So this antibiotic is working. Oh, it's working. It's killing. Oh, it is killing that one. This one, it's not bothering the bacteria at all. Ah, this I is see. called resistance. Okay. This is why when you use an antibiotic, yes. you will get resistance. Oh, oh. Okay. So the more you take antibiotics, for the wrong reason, your body gets accustomed to the antibiotic. Yeah. It's not your body gets accustomed, mm. the, bacteria the bacteria gets accustomed. Gets accustomed and then and when you have the next uh, cold and if you just keep on putting antibiotics, it's not, nothing is going to yeah. happen. So we should keep antibiotics as if they're like gold, they're really gold. precious. Very precious. Uh, they're too common now, everybody just uses them because they're cheap and easy, some of them. Right. But uh, we should treat them so respectfully. So treat the antibiotics with the respect. Yeah. So you cannot use antibiotics for the common cold though? Sorry, you can't. In fact, we don't have a cure for the common cold. There is no cure for the common cold. Sorry, not yet. Yeah. So why do people prescribe sometimes antibiotics thinking that that's going to help the common cold? Just maybe in the mind. Because of course we don't like to have feel ill. We want something, don't we? We want something to make us feel better. Right. But if you have a virus infection and then you get a bacterial infection on yes. top, then you can have antibiotics and they will help. Ah, so, so the common cold is a viral infection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
cannot take antibiotic for the viral infection but yeah. if you have bacteria like i had the typhoid yeah then then you it's life saving that's when life, you want that's them. when you want the antibiotic you want but you must treat them. the antibiotic with the respect yeah, yeah. only for the very very yeah. times when you are going to die yeah, you yeah. need uh, antibiotics or to prevent, or prevent yeah, preventative to medicine to get too ill so we need to take care in hospitals as well so that we don't spread resistant organisms right. so the whole washing your hands and good hygiene in hospitals is very important very, very for important. stopping spread so once you develop resistance it can spread very quickly oh -ho. so this is why we need a global answer to the problem it's no good just one or two specialists in microbiology worrying and doing things yes everybody has to get Every, the common making the common extraordinary Absolutely. all the people should uh, do it together not just the very specialist people yeah. that is a very first class message madam uh, thank doctor you. thank uh, you for Christy. coming and seeing this thank you so much roman and thank you everybody for watching this program this is dr christy clinical microbiologist today we have learned how to treat the common cold which is just basically there is look after yourself, look after yourself go to bed, go to fluid, bed drink the fluid like the tea don't panic don't panic don't have anxious thoughts about your cold just rest very well and drink tea with ginger i like ginger ginger is nice oh, very, yeah, very like honey a little bit of honey anything makes you feel nice so it's very common the yeah. way to treat the common cold is to take common uh, methods yes to do absolutely. that thank you so much for explaining the science behind the virus and yeah. the bacteria i think You're our welcome. viewers have uh, learned today the difference between the virus and the bacteria and thank you so much for showing me your first class laboratory here madam you're very welcome roman and thank you so much for uh, being part of this uh, program everybody thank you very much for joining this is wilbur sargunaraj from the scotland with dr christy i am a good citizen wilbur sargunaraj